What is up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing chest dumbbells only. You guys ask for it and you shall receive. So without further ado, keep your eyes glued to the screen and your ears glued to the speakers. Let's get it. Okay guys, so today's workouts will be pretty basic, pretty simple. Well, not necessarily simple because we're gonna make you work. But basic meaning like we only have a dumbbell and we only got a bench. Now we're gonna go from 15 degree incline, 30 degree incline, dumbbell flies, and then we're gonna do some close grip push-ups, superset with some diamond push-ups. And that's gonna hit our entire chest. Now, some things I wanna really talk about in this workout, and it's more so gonna affect a lot of everything else we do anyway. A lot of times, myself, Dr. Mike, Jeff Nipper, we have all been emphasizing a lot of the lengths and contractions because we know that science backed, the most amount of muscle hypertrophy that's gonna happen is gonna happen when you're in a lengthening position under a load. Right. Okay, so this is our 15 degree incline bench. Now, if you don't have a 15 degree bench, if yours doesn't do this, you can go flat, it's completely fine. There's nothing wrong with you going flat. The reason why I like going 15 degree is because for the most part, most of us, if not all of us that are watching, are training for hopefully health, but for look as well. And for a lot of people, we don't have that big barrel pigeon chest. So we wanna start developing that part of our chest. And what better way to do that is by starting at a 15 degree. Now, I wanna make sure we understand what these reps look like. I'm giving to you the most basic way for it to be very, very hard. Meaning, all I'm doing, I'm just emphasizing every part of the contraction. The lengthening and the shortening. So, here's how we're doing this. Grab your dumbbells. I'm gonna show you what one rep is going to look like. Setting up, obviously, guys, feet a little bit underneath our knees. We're gonna kick back each dumbbell one at a time while rolling back. So we're gonna kick back one, and then the other right after while rolling back. Boom, boom, like this, and then we're back, like so. I wanna stay in this position until I'm reset again. So while I've set myself back, I'm gonna reset my feet again. I'm gonna get my, make sure my glutes are engaged, like I'm, I'm very aware of the floor. I'm pushing into the ground. I'm gonna in this like inverted row type feel. Elevate my chest to puff my chest out and to feel the middle part of my of my scaps, not my upper traps, the middle of my traps from there. Now from here, I'm going to press up and get myself set. And then I'm going to get myself set in terms of where my hands are. We're not using the barbell, so we don't have to be restricted. We can have a little more freedom with how our hands are placed. So instead of us being in this really flat, straight across like we're holding a barbell, let's put a little tiny bit of an angle on there. Almost like a very, very wide V. Now from there guys, remember stacking the joints, fists, wrists, and elbows are gonna stay underneath these dumbbells. And then this is what it looks like for your first rep. We're gonna go 1,001, 1,002, stretch, one, up, one, squeeze, one. We're gonna take each set for five to 15 reps. Reason why I'm saying five to 15 is because I want you guys to push a load that will let you do at least five reps. If you're going too high and you can't at least achieve the five reps with the tempo that you're doing, it's too heavy. If you can get all the way to 15, no problem, it's too light. So we wanna get a good enough weight that's gonna challenge us in between those five to 15 reps. All right, so first exercise done, guys. Three sets, five to 15 reps. Two second negative, one second stretch, one second or controlled positive, and then we're gonna do one second squeeze the top and back down. Remember, five to 15 reps. Take one of those sets to failure. All right, next we're gonna move on to 30 degree incline bench. If you don't have a bench like this that gives you, that gives you the 15 degree, this is your flat. Usually the first notch coming up is gonna be your 30 degree incline. So to give you guys reference, when I put this up, here's your 30 degree incline. This time guys, we're gonna go a little higher in reps. I know that after this set, I know that after the first exercise, you're definitely going to be losing some strength and some stamina. That is completely fine, that is going to happen. You're not gonna be able to sustain the same amount of energy from your first set to your last. So what we wanna do is, we're gonna decrease the weight a little bit and then we're gonna increase the rep range, but that rep range isn't just reps, guys. Remember, it's duration. So instead of doing five to 15 reps, we're gonna take this thing from 10 to 20 reps. We're gonna go to a tune of 
thighs one, thighs in two, a nice just a nice sink in and then squeeze up. This can be a little bit faster than before, but again, as we go, you are allowed to speed the negative up. I still want a one second stretch and I still want a one second squeeze. But as the reps go and as you feel the reps are getting harder and not gonna be able to keep the same tempo, we're gonna speed up the negative. So we're gonna start off at a two second negative, thousand one, thousand two, stretch, squeeze. And then when it gets harder, it's gonna be thousand one, stretch, squeeze. Thousand one, stretch, squeeze. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. So let's get into it. Okay, to give you guys an idea of what I mean by reduced in weight, because I'm going higher, my hard sets were the 100 pounds. Now I cut it back, I cut it back to 80 pounds, about a 20% decrease. So again, guys, we're taking these from 10 to 20 reps. So this is what my set's gonna look like. It should look the same way. Again, guys, we're doing basically straight sets. Instead of doing the longer negative with the same stretch and the same contraction and tempo, we're gonna speed up a little bit as we go. So here's our first set again. So you shouldn't really need to warm up after your first exercise. We're only going from 15 degree to 30 degree. So same movement basically, just more of an incline. So let's get into it. This is how you set, it should look. Again, kick them back, get them set. Chest up, make sure everything's stacked. Drive it up your first rep, up, and we're down. I would consider that failure. Now, I could have 100% did one more rep. 100% could have did one more rep. But that rep would have been extremely ugly. When I say I could have done one more rep, the rep would have been here, 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 ah, just to force that rep up. And guess what? That's not what I want to achieve. I want to make sure that when I'm talking about progressive overload, I'm progressive overloading the constants, the things that are not going to change. Meaning my range of motion will not change, my tempo will not change, and my effort will not change. The tempo might change a little bit. My range of motion won't. My technique, my form won't. My effort won't. So if I want to consistently progress on a week-to-week -week basis and have a good measurable, it has to be to the tune of just that. If we are struggling for, and we get two more reps, and it looks like this, that's what you're gonna go on? You have to ask yourself the question, did I really get those extra reps? Were those reps actually bringing me more muscle hypertrophy? Are those reps gonna bring me closer to my goals in terms of development? No, you're just trying to get the weight up as much as you can. You're just forgetting about the important things. Range of motion, effort, and technique, right? Keep those things consistent. They never change. Hey, what's up guys? New TV series out right now that I am in playing a great role. It's called The Trades. I play Marcus, head security of Conch Industries, guys. Check it out. It's a great TV series. Very fun. If you're into the trades, if you are a tradesman or tradeswoman, this is the show for you. If you just want great laughs and fun, it's a TV series for you, guys. It's The Trades. It's on Crave. Two episodes every Friday. Get it now. If you don't have Crave, get Crave. If you're in the States, get a VPN and watch Crave. Watch your boy. My name's Marcus, it's head of security, Conch Industries. Anyway guys, back to the show. All right, so, great set. Last exercise we're gonna do for chest, then we head on to triceps. We're gonna do dumbbell flies. Now, I'm gonna show you the way we're gonna do dumbbell flies. I'm gonna make it the most efficient way you can possibly do dumbbell flies. Now, a lot of times we talk about dumbbell flies, we talk about why it's not as effective as something like cables or pec deck. Reason being is because there's constant tension throughout the entire movement when you're doing cables or pec deck. When it comes to dumbbells or any free weights, you're dependent on gravity and then putting your body in that position to maximize gravity in that lengthen or stretch part of the lift. Remember guys, I started off doing 15 degree with 100 pounds or doing five to 15 reps. I am getting down to around five to six reps. Then we moved on to third degree incline and I went from 10 to 20 reps and getting about 12 to 13 reps in that higher end. Now we're doing flies. We're gonna drop the weight even more and get our chest to really feel the weight by 
maximizing every part of the contraction. That's sort of lowering the weight a little bit more so you have that much more control. Plus, at this time, guys, right now, your chest should be pretty much torched. You guys are gonna love those guys. Remember, taking time with them. We're going high rep range, longer duration, right? If you're doing 50 sets minimum, remember, we're basically doing one second each part of the movement. So think about it, one, two, three, right? Three times 15, it's a 45 second set. Long duration, with good control, great squeezing, emphasizing all parts of the contraction as much as we can to get the most amount of hypertrophy that we can. Anyway, last exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna do close grip push-ups. We're doing those on the dumbbells. Why I like doing on the dumbbells? Because I feel like it's easier on a wrist. It feels like I'm actually using a bar when I'm pressing and we can get a little bit deeper with the stretch as well too. So we're gonna take all of those sets to failure. We're doing three hard sets of AMRAP sets, meaning as many reps as possible. So you're taking every single set to failure, three sets, of as many reps as you could possibly do with a good form. Take you guys through the tempo and the form, and we're gonna get it started. Let's go. So we're gonna get these guys really close. Basically, we're gonna go from here, first set, second set, we're gonna go in like this, and third set, right back out again. We're gonna be here first, guys. Again, we wanna make sure that we're, our shoulders are right above our fists. So we don't wanna have it back here like this. I'm going a little angry here, because you can see. But when we're doing these, you don't wanna have yourself back like this. We wanna have these things directly underneath our shoulders when we do the push-up. So make sure you guys align these where they need to be in terms of being right under your shoulders, stacking the joints. And then from here, we're going down all the way down. We see it squeeze from here, nice stretch, right? And then all the way up and squeeze the top, right? So down and back up. We're basically gonna do that. Control reps. Remember again, we're gonna always pause at the bottom and pause at the top. We're gonna pause at the stretch, we're gonna pause the squeeze, and we're gonna ride the negative and the positive contractions with control. This is how we're gonna set these things up. So when we're doing diamond push-ups, we're gonna be like this, right? So I want you to set your hands up like you would if you do diamond push-ups, right? So now, take the dumbbell and put exactly where that would be. It's gonna be like this. So here's how I'm gonna do it, just like this from here. And this is gonna hurt. Let's go. Rate to failure. Let me go to sleep. All right guys, that is it for today's dumbbell only chest workout with some triceps at the very end with some close grip push-ups, both narrow and diamond. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know I'm gonna come up with a telic it is transparent, vulnerable truth. And for coaching guys, johnnystreet.com. If you wanna know more about my coaching, book yourself a one hour video consult with myself. We can go over nutrition, supplementation, training, or mental health. Whatever it is, it's me and you, one-on-one, -on -one, video call, we chat, and at the end of that conversation, guys, I deduct 100 bucks off any package that you pick. Anyway, guys, until next time, you know how it is. Iron Sharp is Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.